Hello everyone, I'm Ahmed al from Jordan University of Science and Technology. I graduated an electrical engineer power control, but I'm very interested in FPGA, so I started learning them a year ago. Uh, today's project or experiment is single phase inverter signals that will generate two signals, a square wave and inverted square wave that, that is controlled. But this configuration data is protected using a password. As you can see here from LCD display, it says access denied. Uh, it, it asks you to enter the password or the passcode. The passcode for this project is 9350. And switching 8, set it to high three times. Okay, it says access granted. Now, you can enter the, the frequency. It has an initial value of two, 211 kilohertz and the delay, which has the four values of 0.5 microsecond, one microsecond, 1.5 microsecond, and two microseconds. From this uh, digital oscilloscope electronics, we can enter some frequencies, like how about 231 uh, kilohertz, the scope says it's uh, 230.4 kilohertz, 0.5 kilohertz. The reason, uh, uh, the reason that the FPGA did not generate 231 kilohertz is that I'm using an integer data type to fill up the lookup tables. I'm not using a fixed point or a floating point. So the FPGA will generate the most or the you know, the closest the closest. Uh, frequency uh, entered uh, by the user. Here we can say we can see a delay time. It says 0 0.1. 0 0.1 means uh, 0.5 microsecond. 1.5 and 2 microseconds. Let's check one of these. Uh, 0.5 microseconds. Let's see on the digital oscilloscope. According to FPGA, the delay time must be 0.5 microsecond. It says here 5 nanoseconds, 500 nanoseconds, which means 0.5. Increment that by 1, we, should, we shall see now a 1 microsecond uh, delay time between two signals, the square wave and the, and the inverted one. The scope says one microsecond, and so on. Thank you.